Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So let, let's get into the markets, right? Uh, pretty, uh, pretty aggressive day, especially today in the morning. Um, very, very aggressive day in the morning. We'll talk about the individual pivots in a second. Uh, from the macro point of view, um, again, linear market. I, I think everybody agrees this market is incredibly strong. Um, the way we close today, you had this kind of inverted hammer, and you can see this little bit right here. You can see this inverted hammer uh, off this upper Bollinger Band. I, I think uh, it shows a little bit of weakness coming for the market tomorrow. Um, again, is it a big deal? It's not a big deal. Again, look, maybe we get an orderly back test, which the market desperately, desperately needs. Uh, from up here to this rising five-day moving average, and you can see how strong the market has been every single time it hits the five-day. It keeps on bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. So inverted hammer uh, going into tomorrow's session. You're probably uh, going to see some uh, weakness in the indexes. A again, that's not what we talk about, right? We, I, I don't care about that. Um, what we've continuously been harping on is the lack of ability from the general market to sustain gains on really big high flyers. So again, if you look at, for example, from Netflix, right? Let's, let's start off with Netflix. So we talked about Netflix last night, very lukewarm earnings, right? Very, very underwhelming. Um, and I said last night, I just couldn't, you know, it was just a little, I, you probably needed like one or two candles to kind of figure out which way it's going to go. I, ironically, I didn't trade Netflix today. Um, it opened up a little bit and then went down a little bit and it kind of chopped around. That opening candle sold off and I kind of uh, lost interest. What bothered me, what continues to bother me, we've been talking about this now for a couple of weeks, every single time a lot of these names get right to the point, right? Right to the point of, of making a big, big move they fail, right? So you can you can make this argument with Amazon now for a while. Again, this is such a bullish setup yesterday, and I, I even I even joked around on the video last night. I said, "Do I dare to say uh, this Amazon is going to be good?" And Amazon gapped up and just came right back in, did absolutely nothing. But what bothered me today was, and kind of this is where I, I still believe this this round rounding top is still happening. Again, remember it takes a couple of weeks; it's not one one event. Um, what I didn't like today, my, my personal focus today uh, was BYND and Roku, okay? And I really, really liked the way Roku closed yesterday. Um, and I'll talk about the individual pivots in a second. I like the fact that it stopped at supply. I like the fact that if it confirmed supply, it was going to go to the next supply zone. It was very, very strong yesterday. And this was like my prime focus. And I did okay on the trade. It has nothing to do with the trade. What I didn't like, okay, and this is kind of what we're seeing now for a couple of weeks, like for example, Netflix before earnings is about to break out, came back in. Amazon sitting above 1900 for uh, four or five sessions implodes, right? And, and on and on and on. It's like big, big levels, even Square, even most recent, just to give you an example, Square breaks out above this multi-month level a couple, you know, about a week ago, goes up a dollar and now it's $2 below where, where it broke out. Qualcomm, for example, broke out a couple of days ago, right? Broke out a couple of days ago, and the market was strong. And it's not like the Nasdaq 100. Uh, it's not like the Qs are down, you know, getting killed here. The market's still up, and it failed. It failed again. You had the pot stocks, right? You had the pot stocks waking up, right? Waking up, and they're about to confirm, and then they roll over again. So you're getting a lot of momentum names that are doing a lot of starts, a lot of stops, and a lot of rollover. And then you got the two names have been the most aggressive of them all, and that is uh, Tesla, which which again, um, I, I have to say this. I mean, I, I really have to say this. I, I I think the idea of people trying to buy, you know, trying to figure out bottoms and try to figure out tops, are ridiculous. Okay, because again, there's no such thing as a top or a bottom. Okay, the market doesn't end, right? The market doesn't explode. If a stock hits one number and then goes down for a couple of weeks and then three months later it's higher than that number, there's no such thing as tops and bottoms. What we're trying to do as traders is identify where the interval is going to confirm or reverse, in this case, on Tesla. 
And again, look, I, I personally, me personally, I'm not, I'm not, I, mean, I can't speak about anybody else. I personally couldn't hold a trade on Tesla more than two bucks against me. That's just me. Again, um, I, it, it turns out to be a really, really bad day if Tesla, and again, everybody trades different size and, and size is subjective and all that stuff. But to see people talking about you know, holding a short on Tesla, two, 300 points against them is, is beyond comprehension. I, again, social media is a little bit different than you know, trading. It, it's, it's a little bit different, just a tad. I mean, I, again, two points for me on Tesla, I'm already having a bad day. People holding Tesla two, 300 points against them, calling any day now, any day now, any day now. Again, it's like, they, it's like doing the rain dance in the desert. It will go in the rain. It will go in the rain. It will go in the rain. Eventually, it will rain. Okay. Look, when you're when you're looking for a reversal, you you need some sort of similarity. Number one, arrogance needs to be at all time high. Okay. Well, how do we know about arrogance at all time high? Because the people they were talking about two months ago. How can you trade Tesla at 340? It's the craziest stock ever. These are the same people are talking about. I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting long Tesla at 590 for a 700 so for a 700 point move. $700 price target in the next three days. That's called arrogance. Uh, the next thing you, you have is the obliteration of shorts. You got that as well. And the most important part is when you have a reversal, it's when you least expect it, but you have clues. And the one thing I always say is, again, trust technical analysis. You're, you're never going to get the tippity top of a reversal, nor do you want to, okay? You want to identify the interval that the trend has reversed, it already started, and now you're waiting for confirmation. So if you look, for example, this move right here, and this move right here was only at the end of October, right? When it put in this, in, when it put in this in, inverted hammer, uh, and for the next three, four, five days, it kind of, you know, it went from literally from 340 all the way down to 309. Is it the biggest world trade in the world? No, but again, I caught some, you know, I caught some meat of this bone. And now we're having kind of the same similarities. And, and again, instead of people just piling on shorts and piling on shorts and piling on shorts, again, at least going into tomorrow, we have a little bit of tangible evidence that there could be, could be again, and nobody's talking about the stock is going back to 500 or 400 or 300 or 200 or zero, right? And I've seen so many people post zero, which, which is absolutely ridiculous. But at least we have a little bit of re resemblance of what a technical reversal looks like. We have the arrogance level right to the highs. We have people completely chasing stocks at levels that they shouldn't be chasing. We have shorts that are completely just Again, I don't know, again, I don't know how anybody still short the stock. I, I just don't understand. If you've been talking about shorting the stock in the last four days, three days, two days, 24 hours, I do not understand how you could be. But again, again, I'm not judging. God bless. Again, I, to each his own, right? I just don't understand how. But again, but now at least we are in a technical area that you could turn around and say, yeah, you know what? we might get a reversal here, okay? If you look at this image right here, inverted hammer, and you look at this image right here, inverted hammer, this is again, the most basic area of possibility of confirmation going back to the downside. And this is obviously will be my top watch uh, for tomorrow. Again, I have no interest uh, in the long side today on Tesla. I, I even put on, I even put out a, 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 a tweet. I said, look, I, I have no interest, but if anybody wants that 580 build, on uh, Tesla can get this thing going and you know went to almost 600. But again, not here, not there. I'm looking for value. The value right now is to the downside. Again, I'm not talking about Armageddon. I'm not talking about the stock going to 425 and all these different uh, theories about manipulation and Elon going to you know, the crook and this. That. We're only looking for a trade, okay? We're looking for a trade for maybe a two, three day uh, possible pullback if the levels will confirm and i think they will based on again just basic technical analysis so again if you're a new trader and you're watching this if you if there is a gap up in the stock tomorrow i'm i'm pretty confident to say that if you buy the gap up tomorrow in tesla you're probably going to be buying it into supply and you will get destroyed just saying okay just saying uh, maybe it goes up tomorrow maybe it goes down again i have an opinion I have to enter the day with an opinion. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know how it's going to close, but at least I have my opinion. I'm going to wait for it to play out. So if, we're having, if Tesla tomorrow is at $625 a share, God bless, okay? But at least I want to give the bears, at least for tomorrow, the benefit of the doubt. I will be watching for confirmation channels uh, into 
Tesla tomorrow, if they start confirming, you do have room all the way back down to the, this 531 level. And maybe if there's a second day, maybe you got to pull all the way back down to 517. So again, let's not put the cart in front of the horse yet. Just at least an opinion. We'll see if we're right. We'll see if they confirm. We'll see how much strength there is. And we'll see how many eager, unfortunately eager, uneducated, late long show up to the party and see how they handle the first candle should be very very interesting um again pretty solid action today uh right at the open uh very very aggressive action today at the open so let's talk about it right let's talk about it uh roku again man i was a little pissed off i, I really was a little pissed off so i got long roku uh i got long roku uh i traded to 40 and a half I made some sales. I always make some sales. I always make some sales because, again, there's nothing guaranteed. Uh, I was talking about in the live webinar. I said, look, I think there's a punch a shot at 42, at least to 42. And then you have a you, you might have a second day push or maybe a second tier push to 45 tomorrow. It traded to 40 and a half and it kind of died on the vine. And the one thing is I always say, hey, there's no guarantees. Always take money. So I took two thirds off. The rest I got, I, I, I broke even on the trade. But again, what I didn't like about it that it didn't follow through off the second, uh, off the second length. And, I, and not only did that, it went red in the day. So again, that's when I started thinking more defense, more defense, more defense. Uh, NVIDIA was a very, very strong move. Uh, NVIDIA 250 needs to build. Uh, here was NVIDIA, right? Here was NVIDIA, very, very strong move here. Uh, here's a 60 minute channel on a video, right? All this is 250. Uh, once it broke 250, I, you know, I said there's a shot at 253. It traded again right to supply. It actually went to 253 and a half. So, very, very strong move on the video. Um, Beyond was a monster, absolute monster on Beyond. Uh, 130 is a sneaky area, again, for experienced traders. Uh, 131.75 pre market highs. Both areas need to build. For a possible potential test for 35.23, uh, here was BYND, right? Here was BYND, right over here. Uh, hold on, so here it is. So here is the. You see these two candles here, right? 130, 129.89, right? 129.80. So here is the 130 sneaky pivot. Here is the 131. Uh, it was actually 131.85, right? And I said there's a shot against to the 35.28 area and it exploded right underneath. Uh, it just exploded right underneath the 135. So again, going forward, 35 is going to be an area. But again, they pulled it, right? They pulled it, double top, blah, blah, blah. Well, obviously looking for some channels tomorrow uh, on the downside. But again, four and a half, five dollar move, depending where you got it. Really, really strong move there as well. Uh, IBM never got to the 146 area. SE, we talked about this Goldman Sachs. Uh, put this on the conviction buy list. Uh, 43.30 on SE. Right, 43.30 on SE. So here was the 40, here, here's the 43.30 right here. 43.30, stock exploded. I mean, absolutely exploded, went to 45 and change. So that was a big move there as well. Uh, FVRR never went there. Uh, JMI for small caps, you know, not a bad move. Um, 875 needs to build. Uh, here was JMI. And again, guys, you don't need to trade pivots. Uh, to, you know, you don't need to trade beta trade pivots. You could trade them on any interval. So here was the, you know, here was the seven, excuse me, the eight, uh, 875, 880 area, uh, went to 930. If you took it, God bless. I didn't trade this crap. It's not really my thing. Uh, and again, I started to say, Hey, good start to the day. Um, and again, things got quiet. Things got very, very quiet for a long, long time. It felt like a very, very long time that nothing happened. And then we started seeing, and then we started seeing, um, you know, Amazon. I said, Hey, maybe, maybe if it starts building 1903, it can go, obviously never got there. Um, so here was the pivot on JMAI 908 and then 940 to stop the 930. And then I say, hey, you know what? Amazon is another sneaky pivot. Again, never got here. So here was, here was the, the pivot, right? Here was the pivot that we talked about to the downside. So, so I, I tweeted, I put in the private feed in the, in the live webinar. I said 575, 574. These are huge levels now. If they start building lower, can flush, this will be a big level going forward. Now, why was that? Like, why did I finally start talking about Tesla to the downside? Again, you needed at least one reversal candle. And here was the first reversal candle, right? This was the first reversal candle. You had three candles in a row of lower highs. Again, euphoric levels, arrogance levels all through the roof. And your first candle move was that 575 area. So it needed to break. It needed to confirm the 575. And I said, there's a shot. It gets to that 562 level. It confirmed and went all the way down to the 559 level. Guess what? There, there is no, there is no room for interpretation. If today's price action folds, right? If today's 
gets confirmed tomorrow, you have a move all the way down to the 537, 535 area. So I definitely will be watching uh, Tesla for tomorrow. If you caught this trade, great job uh, as well. And again, take on the way down. Take on the way down. Uh, big, beautiful move on Tesla. And yeah, this is, the, this is just the option flow for tomorrow. So I, I, I like, I'm leaning tomorrow to the sell side. Doesn't mean the market, doesn't mean I think the market's gonna go to hell in a handbasket. I just think there is a lot of good value to the sell side. If you look at the big high flyers, uh, you had LK, right? You had an LK, big, big reversal today. Not only did it lose the five, it lost the 10 day moving average. Uh, and let's kind of lead off with this. Uh, I like LK to the short side tomorrow. If it confirms this channel right here, right? If it confirms this uh, 53, 50, 53 area, uh, I think there's a shot into the into the 40s. So uh, let's keep an eye on LK. Um, I like SDC. It's one of the very few longs uh, I actually do like. Um, it's kind it kind of reminds me of, of the of the chart of um, BYND a couple of days ago. If this channel starts building, right? If this thing starts building above this $14 area, I think there's a shot it could wake up. Uh, so let's keep an eye on that. Um, let me see what else I want to give you guys uh, for tomorrow. Let me see what else I want to give you guys for tomorrow. Um, beyond, we'll talk. Yeah, I kind of like this uh, DNLI. Um, this looks interesting. DNLI uh, kind of broke out today. Uh, broke out today. Uh, it stopped perfectly on supply. If it can get above, you know, 23, 2370, 2380 tomorrow, uh, maybe this thing wakes up as well. And look at this recent IPO, IMAB, uh, recent IPO here. Keep an eye on it for all you guys who are trading non-beta. If it could start uh, getting above this 1580, 16 area, maybe you could get a push into the 17s. Uh, for the rest of you guys, please get to uh, morning strategy early tomorrow. We'll discuss Tesla, obviously, and BYND and Roku. Uh, and LK and all that stuff in between. Uh, so good job today. Good job today, guys. Most important thing is, again, let the trades come to you looking for value. We're not guessing. We're trying to collect as much data as possible and apply it to what we do. Guys, God bless. I love you all, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, guys. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.